Hi children, how are you? I'm Jyoti. I'm your English teacher. I completed already three lessons, two lessons. Okay, let us go to the poem. Before going to that, I want to ask you one question, children. Tell me, do you have friends? Yes sir, no. Yes, everyone has friends. Yes, I also have so many friends. So you also have so many friends. Okay. Okay, my question is, do you have friends who always disagrees with you? Suppose you say something, they'll say, no, I don't want this. I want to do that one. Okay. So do you have like those friends children who always disagrees with you, who always do the opposite of you? So, and or another question, do you know anyone who likes to do the opposite of what we do? We do something, but they will do the opposite of that. So, do you have any friends like this? So, do you have any friends who always disagrees with you or who always does the opposite of you? So, what do we call them? Tell me children, what do we call them? So, who does the opposite of what we think, what we do, what we suggest? Those are called as... Those are called as rebels. Okay, children. So, rebels means they do the opposite of what we do. So we say something, they will think of differently. They will think differently and they will do the opposite of that. So, for them, the, the, for them, the title is rebel. What is that? Rebel. So, let us see. Next poem for you is rebel. So, let us go to the rebel poem. Before going to that, let us see the writer. Who wrote this poem, children? Do you know that? Dis and right. Dis and right wrote this poem, The Rebel. Yes. So, let us know about the poet. His full name is D means Dennis, J means Joseph and right. Dennis Joseph and right. He was born on 11th March 1920. He was died on 31st December 2002 children. Okay. He was a British academic, poet, novelist and critic. He wrote academic year 1955, Memories of a Mendicant Professor 1969 and a wide range of essays, reviews, children's books and poems etc. He wrote many books. Okay, he wrote children's books, essays, reviews like this. So his full name is Dennis Joseph Enright. He was born on 11th March 1920. He was died on 31st December 2002. And he was a British academic, poet, novelist and critic also. He wrote Academic Year 1955. He memories of a mendicant professor 1969. That means he wrote these books and a wide range of essays, reviews, children's books, poems, etc. Okay, children. So let us go to our poem. Okay. First, I want to read this. Please listen carefully. After that, you should read. Okay. You should recite this poem to me. So let us see. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. Okay, once again I am reading this. When everybody has short hair, the rebel lets his hair long. When everybody has long hair, the rebel cuts his hair short. When everybody talks during the lesson, the rebel doesn't say a word. When nobody talks during the lesson, the rebel creates a disturbance. Okay, then see. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. When everybody wears a uniform, the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes. When everybody wears fantastic clothes, the rebel dresses soberly. In the company of dog lovers, the rebel expresses a preference for cats. In the company of cat lovers, the rebel puts in a good word for dogs. Okay. When everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need for rain. When everybody is greeting the rain, the rebel regrets the absence of sun. When everybody goes to the meeting, the rebel stays at home and reads a book. When everybody stays at home and reads a book, the rebel goes to the meeting. Okay. When everybody is praising the sun, the rebel remarks on the need for 
rain when everybody is greeting the rain the rebel regrets the absence of sun when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel stays at home and reads a book when everybody stays at home and reads a book the rebel goes to the meeting okay the last few lines when everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you when everybody says no thank you the rebel says as yes, please it is very good that we have rebels we may not you may not find it very good to be one okay when everybody says as yes, please the rebel says no thank you when everybody says no thank you the rebel says as yes, please it is very good that we have rebels you may not find it very good to be one okay children so let us go to the explanation of the poem okay let us see first four lines when everybody has short hair the rebel lets his hair long when everybody has long hair the rebel cuts his hair short okay see children first two lines when everybody has short hair okay if every child everyone has very short hair the rebel only tells that no i want my hair long okay so he lets his hair long you can see in the picture okay when everybody has long hair like this the rebel cuts his hair short like the first picture understood so do you understand this children so and when everybody has short hair short hair the rebel lets his hair long you can observe it in the picture children so when everybody has long hair every child has long hair the rebel only cuts his hair very short okay that is that so let us go to the next four lines when everybody talks during the lesson the rebel doesn't say a word okay suppose all the children are in the classroom so teacher says something so everybody talks okay they'll say their opinions so teacher asks some questions so everybody says some their opinions they'll say the some answers but the rebel he will be very he or she will be very quiet he doesn't say a word you can observe in the picture he okay, is sitting very quiet he or she is sitting very quiet okay but when everybody when nobody talks during the lesson suppose teacher is very strict okay the teacher explains lesson very strictly okay in a serious manner then the rebel creates a disturbance like in the next picture understood do you understand this children so when everybody talks during the during the lesson the rebel doesn't say he won't utter a word also he'll be very quiet he won't say anything he won't talk anything he or she won't talk anything he'll be very quiet when nobody talks during the lesson everybody is silent and just looks at the teacher at that time the rebel creates disturbance okay he makes some sounds okay he talks with others he creates disturbance to others okay so that is support rebel okay children let us go to the next term. when everybody wears a uniform yes this is our uniform only so when everybody every child wears a uniform and comes to school the rebel only comes in its fantastic clothes you can see in the next picture second picture child children so the rebel dresses in a fantastic clothes he wears a very nice dress fantastic clothes and then he comes to school he or she comes to school okay when everybody comes to school with full uniform this rebel only comes with comes in fantastic clothes suppose everybody this suppose that is saturday or any any function so everybody wears fantastic clothes and comes to school at the time the rob the, the rebel dresses soberly soberly means in a simple manner okay he won't be in a good okay sometimes he may he might wear that uniform and also come to school understood about rebel rebels means simply do just the opposite of what we do okay he thinks a different way he thinks in a different way and he does the opposite so when everybody wears uniform the rebel dresses in extraordinary clothes okay he wears in fantastic clothes when everybody wears this type of clothes the rebel comes to school or comes to that function soberly that means in a simple manner okay he won't look good he will come like that so next in the company of dog lovers the rebel expresses a preference for cats see suppose we say suppose i like cats okay i like dogs and everyone says that yes madam i like i like dog i like dog like that so everybody loves the dog means the rebel only will say that no i like cat okay nobody likes cats but 
the re- the rebel will say that i like cats madam i don't like dogs okay but suppose sometime if everyone says yes we are cat lovers we like cat we love cat then the rebel says that no dogs are faithful animals dogs are good so i prefer dogs understood do you know do you understand this do you find the difference between these rebels and remaining so if all children if everyone says that we are we love cats means he says that i love dogs if everyone says i love dogs means the rebel says that i like cats so he, he just thinks of the different things in a different way and he says the opposite of what we tell what we suggest okay so in the company of dog lovers the rebel expresses a preference for cats suppose everyone like dogs okay he only likes he or she only likes only these cats if everyone likes these cats he says i like dogs okay like now, now see when everybody is praising the sun oh sun rays yeah it is very okay outside it is sunny so i like this sun rays okay so my mother also wants this sun rays so like that if everyone wants sun rays the rebel remarks yeah i need rain i want rain okay i don't like this sunny sunny day so i don't want sun rays so i want rain the rebel remarks on the need for rain he just he says that i want rain when everybody is greeting the rain see suppose it is raining so everyone enjoys that nature so okay everybody is saying yeah it is raining it is raining and everybody is very happy to enjoy that nature then the rebel says no i don't want these rainy days so i want sun i want yeah it is today the absence sun is not there so i'm not feeling happy he says like that okay so when everybody is praising the sun the rebel says that i need just only rain when everybody is greeting the rain then the rebel says that i want sun rays okay he simply says the opposite okay when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel stays at home and reads a book suppose there is a meeting in the office so okay officer asked to come to the office so everyone just goes to the meeting but rebel says that no i don't like to come to the office i want to stay at home i want to read a book so rebel stays at home and reads a book okay when everybody stays at home and reads a book the rebel says that i go to the meeting i want to go to the meeting okay so when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel won't go and he will be at home and he reads a book he reads a book and he just sit, uh, sit very quietly at home he sits quietly but when everybody stays at home and everybody is reading book or doing something the rebel goes to the meeting okay so and everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you when everybody says no thank you the rebel says yes please okay so when everybody everyone says that okay yes please so give me that or please this one okay thank you yes please like that the rebel says no thank you i don't want anything no i don't want to take suppose someone is giving some offering something everybody takes and gives, okay thank you yes please thank you like that but the rebel says that no thank you he won't take he won't accept anything when everybody says no thank you i don't want anything he he takes that he offer okay he just agrees that one very happily he says yes please give me that i'll i'll eat that or i will accept that okay so he simply think of these opposites we can find these people around our surroundings yes or no yes we can see like these people in a different way see here it is very good that we have rebels okay children it is very good that we have rebels we have so many rebels yes we can observe them in our houses in our house or in our school or in our surroundings yes it is very good that we have rebels it is very good that we must be a rebel yes it is good only why because the rebels look at the world in a different way children okay they think differently they thinks the fi- they finds the solution differently okay they just want to have another solution okay they won't say that everything is good everything is okay okay like that they will say some negative opinion so that we can think of that so they look at the world in a different way and they think differently they suggest the solutions differently okay sometimes it is very good to have rebels yes yes if you are rebel means okay very good why because they only okay if i am a rebel means definitely i'll think in a different way and i'll say some different solution to others okay but you may not find it very good to be one so it is not good to be a rebel 
okay if you are a rebel it is not good why because nobody likes your friendship yes or no yes nobody wants to be rebel because we are opposed by everybody everybody opposes us okay everyone will be will be the enemy of us so they won't say no he thinks in a different way if i say yes means he will say no if i say something means he will say he will say in a different way so i don't want to be a friend of rebel so like that nobody wants to rebel nobody wants to be a friend of rebel also so because we are opposed by rebels are always opposed by everybody so it is good to be rebel because they think in a different way but we we don't we may not find we are to be a rebel we don't want to be a rebel nobody wants to be a rebel because we are opposed by everybody everybody opposes us okay children i hope you understood this poem this is very easy only so that you can you could easily follow this i i hope so so once again i just want to read the poem and everybody has short hair the rebel lets his hair long when everybody has long hair the rebel cuts his hair short when everybody talks during the lesson the rebel doesn't say a word when nobody talks during the lesson the rebel creates a disturbance okay and everybody wears a uniform the rebel dresses in fantastic clothes when everybody wears fantastic clothes the rebel dresses soberly in the company of dog lovers the rebel expresses a preference for cats in the company of cat lovers the rebels put in a good word for dogs when everybody is praising the sun the rebel remarks on the need for rain when everybody is greeting the rain the rebel regrets the absence of sun when everybody goes to the meeting the rebel stays at home and reads a book when everybody stays at home and reads a book the rebel goes to the meeting so when everybody says yes please the rebel says no thank you when everybody says no thank you the rebel says yes please so it is very good that we have rebels you may not find it very good to be one yes it is very good that we have rebels because they'll think the they'll think in a different way and they find the solution in a different way but it is not good to be a rebel because we are opposed by we are opposed by everyone or no one likes us okay children i hope you understood this poem okay read this poem please thank you